Hello again, hope everybody's safe and well. So far we've discussed the Honeywell 7184 A series, B series, P series, and U series. We looked at the Becca Genesis, discussed the contractors tool. Now you might say, technology wise, did Honeywell have an idea of what Beckett was doing with the Genesis? They certainly did. So Honeywell, as we discussed previously, said, let's up the ante a little bit. On this model, the 7284U is in universal. You're able to program it, but do that on the fly. Now you might say, how advanced is this control? You don't need that contractor's tool that we previously discussed in the Beckett Genesis video. Again, guys, anybody remember how to get into the memory on one of these 7284Us we did in the lab? Remember to depress all three buttons. When you depress all three buttons, then you're going to be able to get into the memory of this Honeywell 7284U series control and go ahead and program it as you wish. Pre-purge, post-purge, we'll know what to do there. 15 seconds and 15 seconds should suffice. Some of the other features we have on this particular control. Well, the TT configured. Anybody remember what TT configured on or off meant? Okay. If our TT configured on as the screen's going to appear, that means we want the internal thermostat to stay locked on. That would be good for one application. Anybody recall what that application was? Well, remember, that would be for a water heater because what controls water temperature? Not a thermostat, but an aquastat. So on the signal from the aquastat, it's going to send 120 volts right to the control to turn it on immediately. So we need not have a thermostat for a water heater application. For a furnace or a boiler, remember the thermostat is going to be the switch that's going to trigger this oil burner to come on. So the TT terminals here, we want to physically connect a thermostat to the TT terminals to give a thermostat, or the thermostat will send out a signal for a call for heat. When that occurs, then our control gets in motion. This primary oil burner control will then go through the pre-purge stage, call for the main flame, and until that call for heat is satisfied, it's going to keep the fuel going to the nozzle assembly, providing there's enough light. The CAT cell is going to give a signal to this 7284U control as it will the other controls. Anybody remember the operating parameters as per Honeywell, how many ohms we should see? Well, we want to see a range between 400 and 1600 ohms. As I go to 400 ohms, what happens to my light intensity? Anybody remember? Well, it's going to become brighter, a brighter flame, so to speak, in the combustion chamber. In contrast, we go up to 1600 ohms, that's going to be a duller flame. Our flame is turning orange. Once we get above 1600 ohms of resistance, as shown on the screen here while the unit is running or operating, then this Honeywell control, like others, is going to say the flame is too dull, go ahead and go into a lockout. Now, lockouts, we've discussed on and off, but now I just want to touch base with you on the lockouts. The first two lockouts are going to be soft lockouts. Hit the I button on this control, hit the reset button on the other controls, we should be good to go. But all the primary controls we discussed so far in this video series, once again, the Honeywell 7184 series, the Becca Genesis, and the Honeywell 7284U as I have in front of me right now, are all going to have soft lockout and hard lockout. Soft lockout be the first two times. A hard lockout, or latch up, as they say in the Nora book, that's going to mean, well, three strikes, you're out. In this case, only field technicians are the ones to know we have to depress this button for a long period of time. In this case, we hold this one for approximately 10 to 15 seconds, we'll reset, get it back online. As for the other controls, the Becca Genesis, that's about 20 seconds. On the Honeywell 7184A we looked at previously, anybody remember how long we have to hold the button down? Well, at 36 seconds, the green light on the 7184 series control is going to blink. That's going to let the control know, well you know that the control is reset, you can go ahead and get that system back online. Primary controls, once again, the toughest part of an oil burner system to understand. But provided you know how to properly wire and use these primary controls, it's going to lead you to a successful future in the oil burner industry. 
Stay tuned for more videos.